everybody. This is Justin with Siage Scents. Today, I have got some powerful fragrances for you. Each of these are just breathtaking. They are unique. Uh, and for the most part, they are pretty strong and perfect for the cold weather. And so uh, go ahead and let me know in the chat as you're watching if you have any of these, if you've tried any of these and what you think of them, and please subscribe to the channel. I've got new content coming out a couple times a week, so I'd love to have you join our community. All right, so let's get right into this. These are, again, uh, each of them powerful and perfect for the cold weather. The first one I want to mention, this one came out in 96, but before you write it off, hear me out. This is one I looked at for a long time. I finally got my hands on it and I am blown away. It is absolutely still relevant. Probably not a lot of people are wearing it. And if this were released by a niche house today, if this designer did not exist, then I think it would be all the rave in the community. I'm talking about Mugler Amen. And so this is, again, one that uh, a long time ago was very popular. But if you have not smelled Mugler Amen, I want to encourage you to do so. This thing is amazing. It is a beast mode performer. I've heard people say there's reformulation problems and, you know, you don't get, uh, you know, the performance you used to. And maybe that's the case, but I can tell you uh, for seven or eight hours, this thing is powerful and it is a projector. It's got incredible sillage. You're engulfed in a uh, in kind of a scent bubble the whole time you wear it. It is strong. Four or five sprays and you're going to fill up any vehicle you're in or any small room that you're in. And this thing again, Mugler Amen, the original, has got a lot going on. Let me tell you a little bit about some of the notes. You've got lavender, mint, fruity and spicy notes, coriander, green notes, and bergamot in the top. Now that's a lot going on, but let me tell you, you do actually get some of the lavender and the mint. My five-year-old daughter, whenever I sprayed it on, said, Daddy, I love that. It smells like mint. You can actually get the mint. You get a little bit of the lavender. You definitely do get the spicy notes. They're just calling fruity and spicy notes. Uh, you get the green notes. And one of the things that's so amazing about this fragrance, it's so complex and it is sweet and it is powerful, but it's so complex and you can pick out so many of these individual notes. And then you've got in the mid, caramel, patchouli, honey, milk, cedar. And let me say, you can actually pick out a caramel note. You can absolutely pick out a honey note and milk, honey and milk. You can actually pick those out, even though honey and milk together are slightly caramely. It's amazing how uh, distinct these notes are in the fragrance. Um, <clears throat> cedar, there is a woodsy quality, especially towards the dry down. You've got patchouli through the whole thing, and it, whenever it dries down, you've got kind of a somewhat chocolatey patchouli uh, in the fragrance. And then in the base, you've got coffee, patchouli again, vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin. So you've got this vanilla accord with vanilla, tonka bean, and benzoin all giving somewhat of a vanillic uh, quality. And then you've got amber, sandalwood, and musk. And so that's a lot going on. But again, if you look at the notes that are being used, these are not outdated. These are actually still very relevant. And this is a powerful, unique fragrance that it is unlikely that anybody else at the mall today is going to be wearing or at a restaurant tonight or as you're hanging out with friends. It's well known in the fragrance community, but you know the, the uh, population at large there's not a lot of people wearing this, and Mugler Amen is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and another one that I want to mention related to Mugler Amen, Mugler, you know, you can get the original Amen, the 50 mil for about 45 bucks at the filming of this video. I think the 100 mil is more like 60, 65, something like that. But for about $9, you can get this one, Cuba Prestige Classic. This is actually a clone of Amen, and it's a great clone. It's a phenomenal clone for $9. You get just about all the complexity you get of Mugler. 
Um, you know, obviously slightly less quality, and that is discernible. It doesn't last quite as long. It's not quite as powerful. I can spray Mugler on one hand and spray a couple sprays of Cuba Prestige on the other. If I smell the Cuba first and then go to the Mugler, I go, wow, this is amazing. This is so close. If I smell the Mugler first, it's so powerful that whenever I go to the Prestige, I'm like, yeah, it's okay. So my point is this Cuba Prestige Classic is a great clone uh, of Amen, of the original Amen. And you can get it at like TJ Maxx or Ross or most of the discounters for like $9. You can get it on a lot of the discounter websites for really cheap. So if you're not going to pick up Amen, I would really encourage you to at least pick up Cuba Prestige for the price you can't beat it. All right, another one that I'm going to mention, uh, this is one that has gotten some hype in the community. This one's just come out, I think, about three years ago or so. This is a vanilla bomb. A lot of people say it's the, the best uh, vanilla designer fragrance ever created. I'm talking about, of course, Mercedes-Benz Club Black. And so this one, you've got, of course, vanilla, you've got incense, you've got ambroxan, and so this is not like an edible vanilla like the uh, Spiritus Double the Knee or whatever by Guerlain. I've smelled that one a couple times. It is almost like an ice cream or vanilla cake. This one, because of the incense, there's also a little bit of a, a woodsy character uh, and the ambroxan. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a um, masculine vanilla fragrance, but about 80% of what you get is just vanilla. If you love vanilla dominant fragrances, you're going to love this. It can totally be unisex. Your wife could wear it as well, uh, but it's not a girly vanilla fragrance. It's just awesome. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. You know, pretty good performance, maybe like a seven hour fragrance on me. You get great sillage, scent bubble, scent trail while you're wearing it. I don't know that it's necessarily a projection monster, but it's got some weight to it and it's going to hang in the air behind you as you're walking down the hall. Uh, so that's a great one. The next one that I'll mention, this is one that got hype years ago, uh, but one that most people have forgotten about. It's another cheapie, and it's a powerful fragrance, and it is a spicy fragrance to the max. I'm talking about Perry Ellis M. And so this one, you've got a lot of notes as well. You've got star anise and bergamot in the top. And so that star anise does, does give you a little bit of like a licorice kind of quality. You might get a little bit of that uh, citrus. Uh, you've got in the middle cinnamon, balsam fir, and sage. And you get each one of those. You get the herbaceous character of the sage. You get kind of a piney note from the balsam fir. And you definitely get that cinnamon. Uh, that cinnamon is awesome. Uh, and then in the base, you've got uh, vanilla, tonka bean, cashmere wood, white musk, and vetiver. And so I don't know that I get all of those distinctly, but you do get a woodsy quality. You do get uh, definitely the sweetness of the vanilla and the tonka. So this is a powerful, I'm talking like 12-hour fragrance on my skin. You might get in the shower and still be able to smell it when you get out. I would say that probably, you know, three out of five people are really going to like this if you like spicy fragrances, but because the spiciness is so strong, some people are going to say, nope, way too much spice going on for me, and I get it, but for the price, you can pick up the small bottle of this for like $13 or something on fragrancebuy.ca, so it's really cheap, really powerful, cuts through the cold, long-lasting, and if you like spicy fragrances, you should check it out. Uh, the last one that I'm going to mention, this is a new pickup for me. It's a new release this year. This is a clone of Killian's Angel Share. And of course, I'm talking about Kamra by Latafa. Kamra. And so this one is another powerhouse, probably 12-hour fragrance. I sprayed it on the night I got it went to bed several hours later, and as soon as I got up in the morning and pulled the covers back, I just got hit with Camera all over again. It's got a lot going on. You've got in the top. It's an aromatic, spicy is how they categorize it. You've got uh, in the top 
cinnamon, nutmeg, bergamot, and you get cinnamon, you get nutmeg, you get just a touch of citrus in the opening, maybe somewhat like a um, uh, wanted by night or something like that in the opening. Uh, but you definitely get the spices, the cinnamon and the nutmeg, but they're not overpoweringly spicy. I would say this is more of a sweet, ambery kind of fragrance than it is an overwhelmingly spicy fragrance. Then in the mid, you've got uh, dates, praline, tuberose, uh, mahonial, I don't even know what that is, uh, but the dates and the pralines, you get that gourmand edible sweetness for sure. You do get something gourmand. And uh, this fragrance is kind of three-dimensional. You'll get that gourmand sweetness leaping out at you. Then you'll get some of the spices leaping out at you. And then as we go into the, the base, you've got, uh, you've got vanilla, tonka, myrrh, benzoin, akigala wood, and amber wood. And that myrrh, there's something about the myrrh that's almost aromatic that also kind of will, will dance around in the fragrance, you know, kind of peek out at you from time to time. The woodsy quality as well kind of permeates the fragrance, uh, especially as it begins to dry down. It reminds me, especially in the, uh, in the base of Amir Al Oud Intense, also by Latafa. That's a By the Fireplace clone. And I would say there's somehow like a 30% similarity to these two. It's not by any means a clone of By the Fireplace, but there is a strong similarity. If you have those two Latafas, I think you're going to notice it. Uh, but again, Kamra by Latafa. Uh, the presentation is amazing. The bottle looks great. The box it comes in looks like a uh, box for a $300 niche fragrance. It's got a stand that it sets in with a mirrored uh, metal plate behind it. It's amazing. I don't know how they do what they do at Latafa for the cost uh, that they're selling these things for. So each of those five fragrances are going to cut through the cold. They're going to be powerful. They're going to be perfect for this time of year. And each of these, unless you exclusively go places where, you know, fragcom people hang out, where people hang out who are really into fragrances, there's probably nobody else who's going to smell like you if you're wearing any of these. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please subscribe. Uh, that really helps me out, and I'll have new content coming out for you a couple times a week. And let me know in the comments, do you have any of these? Do you want to get any of these? And uh, let me know your thoughts. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Siaj Sense.